distracts there. Eric with his hands at his sides as he backs away along the ropes. And he almost did go down on that shot. Yeah, he's fighting, but his legs are so weak that at any time he can There go. he goes. Good call, Manny. That's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales' career. Yeah. Totally exhausted. And it seems like he has the same expression that Barora had on his face when he fought Pacquiao. You know, Pacquiao. But after the way the fight went, it's very difficult to save this fight here. Normal straight left hand knockout punch. But right. In the last 20 seconds, you saw Pacquiao twice land the straight left. Not a really big shot so far. This is the way the first fight went. They loosened up and traded punches most of the way. Morales backs Pacquiao up with a big right hand. Almost knocks him down with a right hand. Stuns Pacquiao. And, the changes. and that's going to be a big factor. Targeting that left hand effectively in this round, he threw it by his own admission way too often in the first fight. The idea is to get inside and set it up. Here's a good body shot by Pacquiao. They're up in another way right now. A flurry at the end of the round by Pacquiao. Another landed left hand. Morales tries to come. Here we see Morales landing the straight right hand. And because of the balance and position of Pacquiao, he bent over, got him off balance, and he landed another right hand. Which may end up being a bigger factor because he's punching good, but he loses his balance often. But he's just about 50 50. One out to change the tell you, Jim. He's starting to work with his right jab right there. That's what he's looking for a straight left through the middle. There it is. Yeah. Back yeah. Morales up. But and another hard left touches up Morales and momentarily stuns there. But Morales always fights back when he's stunned. There's so much fun about him. Yeah. The war is on. It separates fighters like Morales is they won't take a punch for an answer. They're going to reply. Pacquiao says he's got the punches. Manny, 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 the there he sets. And he almost was... knocks Morales down with the left. Yeah, the straight lefts are landing right between the gloves. And Morales has not stopped the straight left hand at all tonight. No, he doesn't have any defense. The only defense he has is to just fight. His Pacquiao just missed offense. with a left that might have sent Morales home early. Morales comes back with a straight left hand and chopping rights and does damage of his own. Well, he cannot stop Pacquiao straight left. It's, it's hard to tell yet whether the puncher's gloves are having an effect, but Manny Pacquiao is throwing that left with abandon. And remember, Morales is still wearing the winning gloves which are more powdered, padded, and tend to do according to punches. Well, it's not a case of Morales lowering his hand. He just keeps his right hand on the side instead of through the center, and there's no defense. The only way they can keep Pacquiao off is just to outfight him. But he's landing straight left hands at random. And Pacquiao throws That's his leg as he went to the corner, something I've never saw before. Seems to be a little unsteady. Hard right hand by Morales over the top. And a left hook by Morales. And now he's got... You'll get his right hand effectively to make it much easier for that straight left to the center. And the... They trade combinations. It's Morales who dominates the exchange. And he goes back to work with the jab in the right hand. If Pacquiao isn't stopping Morales' is right, Morales isn't stopping Pacquiao's left. It's a good thing that both of these guys have good chins. They're trading their money punches. And that pretty close range from time to time. According to what Pacquiao wants to do. Mostly Morales stands his ground. Right now, one of the big factors still is Mo Morales is a much more solid fighter balance-wise than Pacquiao. Pacquiao's dollar tam at the end of his combinations looks like he's hurt when he's not because his balance is so bad. Pacquiao is a blunt instrument. The referee could call it a knockdown. Morales did get caught. He did go into the ropes, but I thought it was more of a slip. He was more off balance. I agree with Bayless. It wasn't a knockdown. This time. Apparently even, and I have it 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Fans will like you better, Larry. Incidentally, Manny Pacquiao's right eye is beginning to swell just a little. His left jab was interested in the styles, bro. With, with Zahir, Rahir, he had such problem because of the boxing techniques, but the fact that Pacquiao is sitting there fighting him and he has a body to hold him up when he punches is a totally different fight. Well, when a guy boxes and moves as Raheem did, Morales gets disgusted and says, oh, he doesn't really want to fight. 
Pacquiao there. But Morales with a stiff left, knocks Pacquiao's head back and does it again. When Morales effectively picks his shots and then goes back to defending afterward, he's very effective. A little left jab of Morales is very effective, too. Morales tends to get Uppercut marked. cut by Pacquiao. Good shot. Tends to get marked up around the nose and eyes, and it's already... Go down on that and go back to the routine of power punching all the time. That helps Morales to find his open. Nice! The left jab right there, Morales, is right now been the most effective, no consistent no punch no in the entire... The space. That's good left and right. And picking it off. He just has really no defense for it. He just jabs over his shoulder. Hard left hand lands for... Exactly. That was a solid shot. If the knockout puncher yeah. was looking for a knockout, he might have thought he'd gotten something there. He got the punches. Do you think there's a... He's really a 130-pound fighter. Was he significantly more effective at one? It shouldn't make that much difference. But definitely, Morales is the bigger man. And he imposes his will on pot of energy tonight. Perfect one-twos. Left jab and right cross. Pacquiao fires the left up the middle and lands again. And lands again. And lands again. And Morales comes back with a run. Here you see the left jab of Morales, which has turned out to be the most effective punch for him. And here's a straight left through the center of Pacquiao, which has been the most effective punch. Fast pace after this round will be... up immediately. Morales goes back to the jab. Pacquiao lands a straight left. Pacquiao's energy level going up. That was to, about a tough 10 or 12 seconds for Morales. And here he comes right back. I was just going to say that Pacquiao reminds you of that what's the commercial about the energy, the workout, money or workout, whatever. Workout, workout, just, workout. Left jab. The first fight, Morales showed he could take Pacquiao's Sunday punch. Andy Pacquiao and Freddie Roach said, well, that's probably because of the Reyes gloves that we didn't get a chance to wear. In the second fight, Pacquiao's wearing Reyes gloves, and still, Morales can take Pacquiao's best shot. Yeah, Morales has a good chin. But his face is getting marked now. His nose is broken and twisted to one side. And it's given new energy to Pacquiao, too. No question, Pacquiao has rearranged Morales' nose with, I believe, his right hand. Pacquiao landing one, two, three, four, five shots inside. He's having a big round here. Already, Pacquiao's thrown 52 power shots in the round and connected on 21 of them. If those gloves are going to make a difference, it's... Well, Manny Pacquiao has never won a decision on American soil. Well, Pacquiao's goal tonight is to try to knock out Morales and be the first guy to knock him out. What a round for Manny Pacquiao. This time, it's Morales who has the cut in the middle of the fight. And, it, and Morales right now has been pummeled. I've never saw him hit like that. And if, especially... Rounds three, four, and five. Round six was huge for Morales. I have it three, two, and one. Good right hook to the body by Pacquiao. Morales catches him with a left hook. Turns it back around for the moment. Striking Pacquiao against the ropes with lefts and rights. Manny looking to get in the left hand shot. Backs Pacquiao, or backs Morales off. Here comes the Mexican warrior again. Both of these guys have good chin. What incredible competitors both of these guys are. Just when you think they are fading, they come back. Yeah, but Morales looks a little weak, though. Oh, hard right hand by Pacquiao after Morales landed a good job. Eric tries to load up on one big punch and misses it. Pacquiao is getting more and more accurate as these rounds progress. There's Morales. a hard left hand over the top. Morales is taking tremendous punishment. Even, even a rock will be good enough. Yeah, Pacquiao's punching with more snap, more crispness. Morales is punching this on sheer determination. And you've talked about balance in the past. It's Eric Morales who is wobbling now. Yes. As his legs have clearly been affected by the pummeling that Pacquiao... Injury, it seems. We've seen Eric Morales' nose broken many times. 
and punch it with so much power. There's also a cut over one of Eric Morales' eyes, but he isn't bleeding profusely yet. Another hard left hand inside by Manny Pacquiao. You saw Eric's head snap back. Morales continues to try to press forward and fight. Doesn't know any other way. This is the you Morales can see Morales, rally. yeah. Morales is pushing back. The word from Morales' corner via interpreter Ray Torres. His legs are just tired. That's what he needs. Yeah, in the last thing, the last three days, definitely no. And by Pacquiao drives Morales back. He fires a no good with the right hand tonight. Morales with a brilliant count. Straight left is beginning to find a target. Right, right, right hand the again. More effective right hand punching, and now Morales seems to be saying to himself, all right, I better just let it go and rip it. I might as well go ahead and take whatever I'm going to take in return. I have to throw. of Morales as he uh, continues. Doesn't look too steady at all. Good body shot. Morales' right hand partially blocked by Pacquiao. And then a series of Pacquiao shots. And Morales with a jab and a right hand and a body shot and another right and suddenly he's back in the fight. Makes Pacquiao miss. A lot of things. I think that Pacquiao just seems to be more energetic, much more strength. And uh, Murata seems like he's just slowed down. And the, all the punches he's taking are taking an effect on him, seem like tonight. With all those hard fights. Could it be the difference between Reyes' gloves and winning gloves? I don't think the gloves would make I don't think the gloves would make any difference. I really don't even think the different people in the corner would even make any difference. He's been more effective setting it up with a variety of shots, yeah. including some brilliant right hooks and some good jabbing from time to time. And Morales' legs are gone. And they trade at close range, and now Pacquiao's hands are quicker. As Morales begins to lunge and reach, his legs are leaving him. Right here, you see Pacquiao just coming back. He just outfighting him at this stage right well, now. Well, he has fight. quicker hands. And he's landing yes. four for every one, or yeah. three for every one. It has to do with Pacquiao also being a little tired into the bucket between rounds. That's a good body shot by Pacquiao. He tries for another one. Catches Morales with a straight left. Eric manages to duck and slip a couple. Doesn't throw it. Pacquiao seizing the initiative again. Hard left hand stops Morales in his tracks there. Eric with his hands at his sides as he backs away along the ropes. And he almost did go down on that shot. Yeah, he's fighting, but his legs are so weak that at any time he and can there go. There he goes. Good call, Manny. That's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales' career. Yeah. Yeah. Totally exhausted. And it seems like he has the same expression that Barrera had on his face when he fought Pacquiao. And now Morales is going to fall farther behind on the scorecards unless he can knock Pacquiao down. But it's almost impossible to imagine it now. It's over. There's the second knockdown and the stoppage. Manny it's Pacquiao. It's a combination of Ali, Elvis, and Bruce Lee. He just... Here's the first knockdown, Emmanuel Stewart. You saw it coming. Yeah, it was just his legs was going. I mean, anyway, even a punch on his shoulders would have scored a knockdown. Another look at knockdown number one. Pacquiao hitting Morales yeah. on the top of the head, and often that'll yeah, send the fighter down. Yeah, you can't fight when you don't have any legs to hold your body up. Knockdown number two. And at this point, Morales was just looking for a place to hide. And the hyper-energetic Pacquiao, relentless with rights and lefts. When he started to come complaining about his legs about three or four rounds early, I, that was, to me that was indication that he realized he was in trouble and he was probably going to quit even sooner or later. Manny Pacquiao tonight was not looking for the home run on every swing, was not looking to knock out Eric Morales with every punch, and consequently he gets. Well, I, I said the, well, the intangibles are all pointed towards Pacquiao winning. I thought he was more focused this time, better prepared, 
Uh, and that, that makes a lot of difference. Plus having the benefit of...